1340-96.5 KVGC, seven minutes after the hour on this fourth day of October for 2018. Well, the CHP is reminding local drivers that now with the first rainstorms of the season, slow down. This is when many roads are the most slippery because oil and dirt have not yet washed away and they're coming to the surface now. A slippery road won't give your tires the grip they need, so drive more slowly than you would on dry roads. Now, in heavy rain at speeds of 50 miles an hour or more, your tires can lose all traction and you begin to hydroplane, just riding on the water. Now, in the event this happens, the CHP reminds us, don't slam on your brakes. Slow down gradually. And, of course, always slow down at the first sign of rain, especially after a dry spell. And there was a major accident reported on Highway 104 and Michigan Bar Road just inside Sacramento County line yesterday afternoon about 2.30. The accident involved a head-on collision involving a vehicle and farm equipment. Uh, The fatality, uh, a fatality rather, was reported. The uh, name of the uh, victim has not yet been released. The road was blocked in both directions for a couple of hours. It's unclear if the weather played a part in yesterday afternoon's accident. Well, the Calaveras County murder trial of Carl Carlson came to an abrupt halt this week before it even started. Sonora attorney Scott Gross quit his representation of Carlson, forcing the postponement of the trial less than one day before jury selection was scheduled to begin. Gross told the court he discovered a conflict of interest in his representation of Carlson, but didn't offer additional details in open court. <clears throat> Carlson, 56, accused of murdering his wife, Christina Carlson, after starting a fire at his family home in Murphy's back in 91 to collect on a $200,000 life insurance policy. Gross had been Carlson's attorney since March 7th of 2016 when Carlson was first arraigned on the murder charge. Judge Smith, Gross, Calaveras DA, Barbara Yoke, and Deputy DA Jeff Stone met privately in judges' chambers for five minutes before the trial, um, excuse me, or five minutes before the announcement was made. Now, Smith set a trial-setting conference for October 11th and tentatively assigned Carlson representation from the Calaveras Public Defender's Office. When the trial does begin, it's expected to last up to 20 days. An amended prosecution witness list includes 45 witnesses, including family members and law enforcement. Amador County voters, get ready to check your mailbox. The November general election ballots are being sent out on Monday or Tuesday, the 8th and 9th. So by Friday the 12th or Saturday the 13th, most Amador County voters should have their vote-by-mail ballots. According to Amador County Elections Head Kim Grady, just shy of 70% of Amador County's registered voters vote by mail. You can also view your sample ballot online by visiting the Elections Department website. Just enter your name as it appears on your voter registration card. Grady says you can fill out the sample online and print it out and bring it to you when you go to the polling place. Beginning early next week, you can actually obtain a vote-by-mail ballot at the elections office counter. Once you've voted with your vote-by-mail ballot, they can either be dropped off uh, before election day to either the elections office or in the drop box located in the rear of the county administration building or, of course, in the mail. There are local elections for city councils, special districts, school boards, ballot measures, and state and federal races. Of note, California's voter registration has hit an all-time high ahead of the November 6th election. Secretary of State Alex Padilla reported that more than 19 million people are registered, which is nearly 76% of those who are eligible. The state has not had such a large share of registered voters since 77% of the eligible population was signed up ahead of the 1996 presidential election. Well, the California Department of Motor Vehicles, DMV, warning warning the public about websites charging customers to complete the electronic driver's license and ID card application forms for DMV appointments and other online transactions. Now, the department has received reports recently of websites charging customers to complete the new online applications. The DMV wants to remind Californians there are no additional fees to complete the electronic application or any online service. 
Also, there's only one official website for conducting business with the DMV. That's dmv.ca.gov. Now, to avoid paying unnecessary fees, only conduct online transactions on the official website. The DMV's investigation division investigating the fraudulent websites for any violation of customer protection laws. If you believe you've encountered a fraudulent website, email DMV's investigation division at reportfraud at dmv.ca.gov. Now, please note, DMV has thousands of registration service business partners, such as local AAA and Martell, authorized to conduct vehicle registration transactions and charge a fee. You can find more on DMV business partners on the DMV website. And pg e presented the Calaveras Community Foundation with a $5,000 donation to benefit the Career and Technical Training Scholarship Fund. The Career and Technical Training Scholarship Fund helps to support alternative forms of higher education, including trade school certificates and two-year community colleges. In 2018, 10 students each received $1,500 scholarships. This is the largest number of career and technical training students recognized since the fund's inception in 2010. To learn more about the Calaveras Community Foundation's uh, funds or scholarships available, visit their website, calaverascommunityfoundation.org. And that's a look at local news on this Gold Country Thursday morning from the KVGC News Center. I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather, 24 hours a day to visit our website. That's kvgcradio.com.